Let there be light, there was light And love said, it is good I can see you I can see you Let there be light, there was light And love said, it is good I can see you I can see you If Einstein was right, at the speed of light, time dilates, objects shrink up, and there's no reflection in the mirror. Since my house of perceptions burned to the ground, I can see the sidereal patterns more clear. The solution to the formula of everything is this. Wait, hold that moment, and I'll tell you at the end. Photosynthesis, Photosynthesis is the process by which light lives, light lives and is embodied, embodied quite literally. Photons, photons are vehicles for coherent consciousness, coherent consciousness to coalesce into corporeal form and know the sheer ecstasy of being able to laugh, laugh, laugh dance, dance, sing, sing, and dream, dream, dream. Tune your energy matrix into the metaphysical meteorologist's social climate weather report and the eons long future forecast, which calls for emotional. Heart storming, heart storming, solar tsunami swells of interplanetary pansentience, and tropical heat waves of monsoon sized gratitude, resulting in rising sea levels of individual sovereignty.
of dominance and control begin to shift into over unity. The duality dissolving into a singularity we call community. The experts of every discipline will unanimously agree with me when I tell you your heart is this world's best natural resource for renewable Time to flip the social script and reclaim our lost concept for the word culture. Culture originally meant people who care for their environment. Hence, cultivation evolved into a love relationship with the land by which the seed of our one self was planted in the topsoil of skin, wherein universal mind is a kind of organic garden of omni-locality for permaculturing our personalities into a crop circle of kindness that can sustainably Let the most enthusiastic aspects of your love affair with exuberance come out of the closet of your subconscious and hopscotch across hyperspace hand in hand with happiness as we enact the audacity to affirm against tradition that which stands confirmed in our own experience of love without conditions. Love without conditions. We, as a society, society, place more value on paper money, paper money than we do the old growth forests from whence our financial fantasies are harvested from the trunks of trees indicating that the economy don't get conned by the econ of me. Chaos theory calls for a butterfly effect, a mathematical anomaly, a kind of uncertainty glitch in which it only takes the square root of 1% of the total population of people on this planet to focus our conscious intent and thereby conjure alternate folds in the origami fabric of space-time's sequence of events thereby initiating an accelerated state of grace as an early warning advisory update for our generation to anticipate flash floods of fascination sudden shifts in seismic thinking activity and global laughing riots that incite public displays of lovers kissing shamelessly in the streets.
septillion super intelligent mini communities having elaborate scenic social lives of complex autocatalytic cuddling in which your inner gorilla botanist is always composting stories of past sadness into a cold vision formula to solve at coagula dissolve and reform or Form the true alchemy that transmutes pain into beauty by making music out of our misery so as to be the rock stars of this world's heartbeat whose lifestyle love lyrics leave constellations longing to take Supernova swan dives from their celestial stage skies into the molecular cloud crowds of microscopic coagulants that differentiate into the superconductivity you've come to call your body. Your body. Being authentic is the new enlightenment. Being authentic is the golden ticket to an all-access backstage pass of playfulness to attend the wildest, most unambiguously fun inner space love stock concert. Love stock concert. Where there is a biorhythmic battle of the band Partying hard in the chromosome continuums, mitochondrial mosh pit, mitochondrial mosh pit, and a karaoke style, 70 trillion cellular strong interstitial choir is performing 100,000 chemical hit reaction songs per second each and chorusing the body into being electromagnetic, electromagnetic to the cohesive group thermodynamics of multiple non-equilibrium open relationships. Oh, 
on receivers tuned into the bandwidth of various megaverses available on the interstellar station of our agreed upon collapsed wave function for infinite parallel probability. See if your inner tree can photosynthesize this. The concept for culture originally meant people who care for their environment. Take a walk on the wild side of quantum-sized nano lives inside the universe city, the university of our experiential re-education, of learning to see ourselves and each other as holy grail vessels overflowing with the quintessential essence, conscious nexus, black hole wine of individuated fractal time, where we can ride trains in the sky, traveling faster than the speed of light, whilst sipping anti-gravity tea <laughs> and floating next to a metaphysical Einstein of our collective subconscious mind who keeps recalculating new theories of relativity meaning everything is our relative and then keeps scribbling the word omatakriyasi, meaning all our relations, alongside lost Atlantean equations of exponential expansion on the paper napkin nebulas of binary star bars. Formulas to freedom, which read E equals MC squared. Nothing new there. This cunning incantation isn't about clever mathematical equations of crunching the data, but rather can metaphysically be translated as enlightenment equals 
manifested compassion when enacted to the square, to the square. It's your ride on the wild side. It's your ride on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. In the unified field theory of everything, a.k.a. loving each other without conditions, without conditions. there is a law of accelerating sweetness stating that if we could just hug each other long enough without judgment, without judgment. if we could just hold each other without judgment, without judgment, we could give the whole world permission to make a fresh start. This luminous love spell comes with a handwritten warning label which reads, Beware of bears that dream. This breed is a lightning rod for love's lunacy. And anyone within a million mile radius might get lit up, lit up. as tenderness turns into eclectic ecosystems of emotional equilibrium. So that even if the whole world around you suddenly, in a disaster, falls apart, falls apart. the pain palette of your shadow side becomes a canvas for rechanneling darkness into light as a new kind of living art. It's your ride on the wild side. It's your ride on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. It's your ride on the wild side. It's your ride on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. If you believe in the Hollywood dream of being in the most exclusive social scenes and you get hypnotized by the hype, then Shakespeare was right and all the world is just a stage. The question then becomes, what will you do with your 15 seconds of fame? If we peel back the layer of plastic masks that turn mannequins into men again, give women back their goddess identity through a civil rights movement of divine femininity, we can co-author and inhabit together a new world as kings and queens. No more having to feel accepted by the cosmopolitan clique that is most exclusive for the moment. Because there are no celebrity gossip tabloid columns in the wild. The wind won't say the word ugly. A river never criticizes the trees, who, by the way, exhale the oxygen we breathe, and each of which is a microcosm of magnificence, making our lives possible. Making our lives possible. Plant yourself in the soul soil of sky then soon you will see that she is always doing elaborate backflips over the sun just to prove a playfully innocent but completely mischievous point which
which is, when you look at the stars, you are seeing yourself as you truly are, literally. Our bodies result from holographic projections of concentrated quasi-stellar intention to coalesce into skin and know the sheer opulence of being able to kiss. Hit you right on the wild side. Hit you right on the wild side. Hit you right on the wild side. Take a ride on the wild side. to life than being rich, famous, and physically stunning. Running in the right stock market portfolio bank account circles won't earn any spiritual brownie points with a treasury of transformation or score a miracle touchdown Hail Mary pass of happiness in the final seconds of personality crisis when the mass extinction event of the ego is imminent. The mass extinction event of the ego is imminent. And the economy stagnates in its forward momentum of so-called progress under the weight of too much overconsumption. The earth is not an external resource to be plundered by our endless appetite to fabricate and buy into being a customer. Flowers follow a pollen path of the honey way. Birds and bees can be bribed with make-believe paper money that's been pounded into a pulp fiction of addictions to finance from the 5% of old growth forest that's still left intact. And no amount of tax break incentives or clever consumer spending on the part of pharmaceutical companies product placements of super convincing commercial splendor could ever put a price tag on the value of having clean air and drinkable water. There is no price tag for the value of clean air and drinkable water. What we need is a terra firma kiss napping. We get inducted into awareness swallowed whole by the UFO, unified field of oneness, mothership of love, no more new age propaganda of pretending to attain inner peace through emotional complacency, it's not about near death, or being out of the body. Out of the body. Why play small? You came to ignite a flame under the ass of action by way of an in-body, actual life experience. You came to ignite a flame. So let's learn to escape the royal prison tower of the patriarchy's misguided myopic insistence of playing make-believe for centuries that we are citizens of a country merely with borders of separation that we politely call nations requiring contracted armies 
overblown defense budgets in the form of a human footprint of careless neglect. The truth is, we are powerful beyond measure. With our words, we weave worlds. Our thoughts become things. What you vibrate resonates into reality. Don't get brainwashed by the mass standardization called closed circuit curricula educational systems designed to reproduce cloned mediocrity and a PhD or master's degree in the monetary system of making more money means very little if you don't know how to plant seeds to feed is the time for community. And despite the unacknowledged cultural genocide of tribal peoples and ancestral wisdom, we are all natives of the earth. We are all natives of the earth. We are all indigenous people to this peculiar, pristine, Pearl Blue Planet, which it is our duty to protect from special interests and government lobbyists, because it's the only bioship with a built-in life support system that the children of every species in our extended Earth family will get to inherit. The last haven in hyperspace where life as we know it can even exist. of astonished, coherent bewilderment. bewilderment. A, return to nature a return to nature could alleviate our addictions to politics, churchianity, and money altogether. altogether. So let's take let's a walk, take a walk on, the on the wild side. In a world of infinite possibility, infinite possibility, why would we keep choosing the same predictable outcomes? It's as if we've forgotten something which was once understood inherently by all species, which is that memory is the mother of all muses. 
whose music moves us to remember that gravity is us, never wanting to be too far apart. Gravity is us. Whatever you do, wherever you go, Don't be afraid to let go, let go of everything, everything. All that societal training. Just suspend doubt and disbelief momentarily, momentarily. And oh, neither not with me, oh, neither not. Or travel without the need of a body as we re-enchant our collective imagination's organic gallery of all at once time, all at once time, where we can freeze frame and interface with every state of being that is, will be, or ever has been. Be a lover. Let our transluminal flux thought expedition begin. Transluminal flux with a magnificent canvas of unambiguated darkness as a metaphor for non existence. And then a single seed syllable of light, light, sound, sound energy, energy. Sprouts spontaneously, and from the soul soil of no thing, no thing came a translucent spectral rainbow grid membrane root system, root system. as awareness began to grow itself exponentially in every direction. This is how our love affair as existence began. Our love affair as existence. Inside the one interdimensional nexus hub, honeycomb heart, whose inner lining is our multiverse, multiverse transpiring in perpetuity wherein disembodied consciousness got semi-bored with formlessness in forever and decided to omni-locate or play an intergalactic game of hide-and-seek kiss tag. <laughs> by way of agreeing to forget temporarily that we are in infinity dreaming infinity dreaming whatever you do wherever you go Through the process of astral incandescence, feelings became cymatic frequencies, which geometrically vibrated our singular quintessential essence into these bioluminescent polarity bodies. We've been juxtaposed 
in order for us to know the freedom rush and exhilaration of being an individuated fractal happening in simultaneous expressions of personality singularity in the non-local every when of holographic resonance in heart-mind coherency hence for the grand experiment of life to commence we as seeming dual eternities did kiss or cross-pollinate infinite potentials of boundlessness as babies of bliss sky diving into utter ecstasy from the antimatter ripple fallout of our union event perception black holes began pre-constellational dark flow mitosis from the primordial graviton germination of sidereal cellular division sidereal cellular division we are where oneness self divides or auto catalyzes from a subatomic inattention seed planted in the source plenum fallopian tube as consciousness ferments with electromagnetic intent and fertilizes us with exotic matter inside the womb of original thought. Remember when we meticulously hand wove every orbit of each atom and nuclei of all galaxies and nebulae in hopes of winding them up and watching them go so that we could at last dive face first into the quantum foam quantum whatever you do wherever you go be off a series of superluminally explosive fundamental force chain reaction in the slipstream of timelessness as we play out multiple parallel lives in this 13.73 billion year climb up the veins of the tree of life branching experientially into the myriad forms as every conceivable version of the wave function. Thus we did emerge through the perennial blossoming dissemination of differentiated information. Everything at its essence is information in formation as a kind of latent manifestation that congeals upon intention. intention. Hence, material world is made manifest through the excitation of condensed sentience being released into expanded energy states of semi-chaotic complexity. 
meaning our bodies are literally made up of energy bound together in fields of standing stationary scalar waves that have been correspondingly organized into the interstitial syntax that spells out every celestial organ in our astronomical and subatomic anatomy. Our story has been written with stars, which are portals of light, through which the vehicle of consciousness travels along invisible passages, which access secret regions of in-between worlds, where everything happens in a non-human frame of reference, and therefore cannot be verbally acquiesced verbally acquiesced, except to suggest the rearticulation of creation begins to expand when quarks, quarks atoms, atoms, cells, cells molecules, molecules, and the macro-microorganisms each live out a life of their own, and then report back in tangentially upon the one self, one self through cyclic circadian dream rhythms and the myriad death rebirths, death rebirths. from womb to womb we are born of beautiful genius and our pantheonic prerogative is to try on paradoxes in being seemingly separate. Whilst unbeknownst till now, this so-called duality of you and me was really our clever way of rediscovering this everlasting love affair as existence in each ineffable moment, across endless playgrounds of eons, and evermore entertaining levels of cosmological camouflage. Whatever you do, wherever you go, be a lover. Remember when, remember when we played pin the tail on the comet, floating knee high through a hovering field of hypernova flowers, as innocence, drinking in neutronian nectar. Let's be free to choose a new version of so-called reality. Because in this world of infinite possibilities, we mustn't keep forgetting that gravity is us. Gravity is us. Never wanting to be too far apart. You're of the slumbering sentient silence. 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 Suddenly, Suddenly, there is music. music. And the beat of the Big Bang's booming 
baseline laughter, laughter emanating from the social life of single subatomic particles, single subatomic particles. and they're having a party planting infinitesimal graviton thought seeds in the plenum of the space-time fabrics soil womb substrate Meanwhile, altruistic vacationing adults carrying quark-sized, punk-scaled suitcases filled with cosmogenies secrets, which when translated from latency into mass and exotic matter, becomes 13 billion light years worth of intersecting, parallel, omnidimensional, multiversals, expanding and contracting in unbridled unification of darkness and passion, whilst the celestial choir is dressed in invisible prism light rays of spectral illumination backing up an unseen echoing oration by getting down to the visceral vibrancy sounds in this star-studded inner lining of love's eternal heart drop beating sense beyond our sight as we whoop and yell in synchronicity to a singing double helix significance signified by the prospect of fitting our immortal source energy into a pair of randomly mutating skin thin genes E-N-E-S Where the water of life flows freely as a make-out melody between the mouth of chaos, complexity, and consciousness, consciousness cuddling. We are chaos, complexity, and consciousness cuddling and doing physiochemical synchronistic Groove move kung fu. Kung fu. Physiochemical synchronistic groove move kung fu. In a series of breakdance contests to the ever changing, unpredictable, astronomic, acoustic audio tracks resonating from the mysteries, diametric, disco hall, boogie bag, basement. Pulsating with oscillating, rotating, ego-deflecting, 
mirror balls, emitting intense light beams of liquid lightning, gravity-defying laughter. Life is but the voice of divinity, diving face first into our ear, only to be reborn in our feet as the beat of being spirit made flesh. We are antimatter made manifest. Lest we should forget our former metamorphosis like a protogenic amnesiatic astral butterfly who can no longer recollect the chrysalis of cosmic bliss or the former incarnation of what being an embodied caterpillar once meant. Music is the soul of the universe Rhythm and melody fill our veins It is the reason why we dance and dream and laugh and sing Filling our purpose with transparency is what invites peace to inhabit our immediate vicinity and diving into our inherent oneness will always bring us back to authenticity and a romantic, radioactive, isotopic slow dance between our elemental aspects and our best would-be wildest fantasy destiny who keeps whispering in the ears of our most magnificent dreams saying I'll be freeze framing your most sincere unchoreographed smiles upon the pages of the night with the profundity and power of a pulsar star style strobe light. Pulsar star style strobe light. Wow! What a surreptitious sight to see. Your innocence and mischief intimately dance kissing under an incandescent operatic gyrating intergalactic tree made of a quintillion soliotone coherences filled with hallucinogenic harmony inducing honey and covered in blossoming indescribable interpersonal anomalies of loving mother unconditioned through the dispersive effects of how immaculate it feels to finally be real and on love's whirling world-class stage dance floor no telling what's in store in the probability of what will be as we nucleosynthesize our visions and our dreams to become a part of our everyday way of experiencing unlimited potentiality as our molecules sway to the beat of breaking through limiting expectations and old patterns of thinking that the illusion is the way things are supposed to be because that's the way they've always been is the soul of the universe Rhythm and melody fill our veins It is the reason why we dance and dream and laugh and sing Transformation begins from within. We are the recreation generation 
The world wave function responds to our emotional thought reverberation in which our intentions undulate with fate in the fluid state of our gluon plasma processes whilst playing footsie with principles of uncertainty in the sky's nightclub hot tub of love enlarging our capacity to care by co-authoring newfound friendships with fundamental forces to manifest our highest possible greatness in humility and without shame. The world has erected a golden cash cow and habitually worships at its empty economic dollar sign shrines where corrupt corporations create laboratory baby abominations complete with custom copywritten decoded genome barcode designs laser printed personalities logo shaped brand name eyes turning our humanity into a commodity traded on the third world stock exchange as a trademark registered patent product to be bought and sold by the socially insane. Megawatt Mojo is rapidly on the rise in this fast-paced pontificate landscape soundtrack of having a quantum leap forward into the funky biophoton phenomenon of forgiveness being realized in our lives as living light. And my, oh my, I spy a Saturn ringed Spanish fly dancing our way. Spanish fly. Looks like love wants us to geometrically misbehave by having the courage to not fit in. Now is the beginning of the end as a gang of vigilante Venusians set ablaze the veils of illusion. An overwhelming joy begins to motion in all her rowdy friends again, saying, don't be shy, we can slide organically into every metaphysical piece of you, like voodoo, weaving the many molecules of interstitial volume into one conscious cloth of truth, is what being a free radical can do. The strong and weak nuclear forces arrive on flaming fifth dimensional fox fire seahorses, chanting ancient circadian rhythms of the beat, beckoning the moment to lick her lips, shake her hips, and leave all that endless awareness as the nucleus of nirvana inscribed upon our finite isomorphic fingertips. Isomorphic fingertips. Make out with me, and I'll transmute all your pain into beauty.
as grace-filled songs of elegance and symmetry. In Casimir effect, pirouettes. Casimir's effect, pirouettes. Then hits the thermodynamic transcendental meditation, and everything becomes salient nano perfection as we maintain the superposition reflection flame of dirty dancing with dharma dirty dancing with dharma in the mirror of each other's eternal equanimity music, music is the soul of the universe the soul of the universe being squeezed out of sources vast holographic speakers as living soundscapes we come close to a kind of instrumental catharsis, instrumental catharsis, playing out lifetimes of karma, karma through immediate and direct experience in the quantum foam bubble bath of the cosmological constant, cosmological constant, until we all become the beating heart of the same self. And now I fathom all things, all things, and know what joy pain brings, as the singer sings in strings of vibrating strands of endless rippling over unity, over unity. And we all rise above the mediocrity of societal nothingness, like decibel doves of discovery swim flying at high velocity, diving deep into the endless oceans of experience potentiality upon the eons long drawn out breath of complete and utter satisfaction. This perennial wisdom attraction is the transaction bringing completion as the solar system lights go down and so does the original articulate groove sound to which we are bound like hypnotic chromosphere clouds and then reabsorbed into the endogenous background in diaphanous disambiguation as slumbering, sentient, silent Beyond all concepts of right and wrongdoing, what the world needs more than anything is a love song for the bees. As a thank you slash apology for millennia of pro bono crop pollination and privatized honey production pirated by us, without which most of humanity, nature's only prodigal creation, would have always been on the brink of utter starvation. Bears who dream are often seen frequenting interphylum underground pajama parties in an enchanted cosmic forest rave scene on the outskirts of relativity, where one can witness every oddity and idiosyncrasy of civil society happening in the macro microcosms ranging from elaborate interplanetary solar system barroom brawls happening between the heliospheric current sheets rippling rings amongst drunken disorderly dwarf stars who've gone too far in their assertions of gravity, to the infinitesimal fragmentation taking place in the vibratory space where leptons and gluons are getting it on, as miniature collections of ecosystems making up 
Earth's body. Earth's body. The galactic equator is a Milky Way navel wherein dispersed sentience condenses in a whirlpool of wonder as the center of an interdimensional nexus for which we have no physical frame of reference. Yet each one has a realized root aspect of you doing high-speed stellar cartography kung fu whilst your innocence is mud wrestling with your mischief to the beat of an Archimedean DJ. Archimedean DJ. Let there be light, there was light, and love said it is good, I can see you. I can see you. Let there be light, there was light, and love said it is good, I can see you. Recently, whilst fraternizing, cohorting, and laughing uncontrollably with a gang of hooligan trees, in rowdy reminiscence over cups of fermented honeymead with the likes of rogue queen bees, who were themselves accompanied by a vigilante assortment of various other felonious faces from the planet's top 10 wanted list of most endangered species. The volatile topic of Homo sapiens came into question and the vaguest recognition of a sudden shift in the spectroscopic orientation signaling an end to the antiquated classification of life as it has been since the dawning of the so-called industrial revolution or what conscious observers might refer to as the degradation of our personal relationship with the environment we begin by not thinking we are greater or less than any other being as we collectively poise on the precipice of systemic autocatalytic recalibration of intelligence in this integrated heart-mind software exchange of biotech synthesis some may ask Who's going to pay for all this infrastructural change? In this shared dream, there's no need for make-believe monopoly money with zero real value. As the economy gets replaced with fair energy exchange by means of removing the microchip of materialism once deeply implanted in the psyche section of the brain by the former mainframe architects of control through old modalities of guilt and shame. It's time for an application alteration as we engage this new paradigm operating systems upgrade for the biophotonically enhanced human-animal existential interface. Let there be light, there was light, and love said it is good, I can see you. I can see you. Let there be light, there was light, and love said it is good, I can see you. To me, mathematics is a multiversal hieroglyphic language of harmonic variability, concurrently unseen by us in its fullness and presently understood only fractionally. Convergence can practically be expressed 
with only 39 decimal point digit slices of the 3.14159 pi. To make a circle the geometric size of the observable world accurate to within the volume of a hydrogen atom. Natural numbers correspond to twin integers of which one and zero are the fractal totality. Everything else is a theorem description of an intersection where imagination meets materialization as a quantum peculiarity. It seems we'll have to unlearn our limited thinking training of normalization and abandon mainstream society's tendencies towards the counting sheep mentality if we are to be open to the grammatical algebraic suggestion that x is the hidden coefficient of infinity in disguise as the multiplication of matter and mind intertwined lovers whose legs have crisscrossed together into a bigger combinatoric picture yes an educated guess is still just a guess. So acquiesce that you are non-local consciousness, hardwired in a living computer system of supersymmetry DNA, or our data network of awareness, keeping us connected in streamlined enfoldments of ecstasy in an ancient spiral origami uniquely designed to channel sound pressure signal waves of transcendence evidenced in the toroidal EM field produced by the heartbeat. The minus reminds us always of our uniqueness which is to say Nothing can ever be taken away from the variable of eternity. For no matter how many Mobius strip subtractions we make, we always return to our original state as the source of existence incarnate. The division symbol is a metaphysical representation of oneness mitosis into duality where darkness and light self-separate or disambiguate into algorithms of higher arithmetic. Creation recalibrates time-space into the plus sign, which iterates the enumeration of fundamental forces, masculine-feminine, not to mention the four elements and so-called sacred directions rippling through every incremental nerve ending of nebulas and interstellar flesh herein expressed as the dark energy vortex rift of the uber conscious let there be light there was light and love said it is good i can see you i can see you let there be light there was light Love said it is good, I can see you, I can see you. It's a little known hypothesis that we live in an electric universe filled with tendrils of magnetic filaments. What goes unnoticed in the world of ordinary matter is that plasma accounts for 99% of cosmological content, meaning outer space could be a translucent superfluid substrate semiconductor with zero viscosity. Scientific legitimacy means considering every possibility. And it has just occurred to me that the collapse of bee colonies may have a direct correlation to the rise of dysfunctional families and the demise of our global community. 
all things remain equidimensional or equal in this proof of paralleled reality where we are the sum of the same self happening in synchronic differential simultaneity. Nature's genius knew enough complex calculus in advance to tilt the accretion disk in such a precise way that we'd have these pleasure mobile bodies with which to explore the endless variety of alternate overlapping personal realities, i.e. the personality platform designed originally as a highly evolved organic program of internal technology, now outmoded in modernity as no longer being an acceptable construct upon which to base our true identity. In fact, it's as you've suspected your whole life, you were born to fly. As evidence, you've been fully equipped with a state-of-the-art, onboard emotional navigation internal guidance system, and under the hood of 360-degree sensory hardware, there is the mental machinery to collapse the wave function of probability into actuality at superluminal speeds in one trillionth of a nanosecond called thought. Built to withstand the wildest voodoo dance, you've been given a gyroscopic graviton movement suspension system of mobility for utilizing the highest degree of interactivity with the world of form, phenomena, and functionality. Notice the grace and elegance of the seeming single occupancy vehicle slash vibrational vessel of infinite potential you now appear to physically inhabit. Although, truth be known, you contain an energetic aspect in every depth of the sublime, unfathomable seas of 10 to the 500 powers of virtual particle possibility. Let's take our curiosity for a joyride to make out on a mountainside with the same intention of forbidden young lovers sneaking off into the night to fondle and wrestle with the sky. We are the equation of existence projected in holographic skin here for the interpersonal chemistry set experiment of ephemeral experience. ephemeral experience so as to intuit the contrast between complete omnipresence and the irresistible spine-tingling rarity of a heartfelt true love kiss. This is the solution to the formula of everything that is. Unity divided by perpetuity, multiplied by the singularity of you and me, minus the illusion of time's forward progress, plus the square root of the rest of existence, is equal to love phi ratio. Love phi ratio. On the highest order of magnitude, to the degree of a three-way rendezvous between laughter, laughter, 
music, music and dreams. If Einstein was right, at, at the, the speed, speed of light, time dilates, objects shrink up, and there's no reflection in the mirror. Beyond all concepts of right and wrongdoing, what the world needs more than anything is a love song for the bees. Love song for the bees. Let there be light, there was light, and love said it is good. I can see you. I can see you.